Hello, this is Scott at MechSoft. In this video, we will cover the basics for three axis drilling found in Visual Mill 2012. This drilling demonstration part contains an array of holes of two different diameters, 6 millimeters and 12 millimeters, alternately distributed across the face of the part. I will center drill and drill these holes and use some options to improve the efficiency of the toolpath output. I'll bring up the operations browser, and the first thing I would like to do is establish a good programming environment by defining three key things, the stock, the program zero, and then the tools that I will be using in the operations. To define the stock, the system scans the part geometry and creates a minimum box. I will accept that. Next, I'll define the program zero or work zero, by referencing the stock material that I just defined and set it at the highest point or the top on the back left corner or northwest corner as you will see on the screen and save that. And finally, I've defined three cutters to be used in the operations, a center drill and two regular drills. In each of these, I've defined the tool number, the tool length compensation adjust register, the flood or coolant type, the, the material type, and the feeds and speeds used with the tool. Now I'm ready to create the operations. I'll create the center drilling operation by making sure that I'm on the program tab, select the holes pull down, and select drill. In this particular part, the fastest way to select all the holes which will be center drilled is to use this second option, selecting all the holes in a face or flat area. I will select the face. The system will scan that face and collect all the circular edges, since this is a solid part, and make an entry in the feature selected list up on the left. Next, I'll select the center drill, check the feeds and speeds, load those from the tool, uh, under the clearance plane, since there are no obstructions between the holes, I'm going to skim the part between holes at about 3 millimeters. Cut parameters, I want a full depth of 10 millimeters. Do not add the tool tip. And an approach distance of 3, and we'll generate the path. Let's improve that path by checking with the sorting. And here I'm going to set a directional sort to be zigzag and we'll generate the path a second time. Much better. To create the drilling operation for the six millimeter drill, I'm gonna copy and paste the center drill operation. So I highlight it, do Control C for copy, Control V for paste, and then I'm going to rename this new operation. Now I'll edit the parameters. With this copied operation, the selection of all the holes is retained. To get the six millimeter holes only, I'm going to impose a diameter filter of six millimeters, max and min, and you'll see that only the six millimeter holes then are retained. For the tool, I will set this to the six millimeter. Feeds and speeds, load them from the tool. Clearance plane should remain the same. Cut parameters, I will set the depth to what is needed and add the tool tip. And for sorting, I'll do the directional sort again, being zigzag, and generate the path. To create the 12 millimeter drilling operation, I'm going to again copy the center drilling operation. Then drag that copy to third position and rename it. Then edit the parameters as I did before. Here I'll set the maximum diameter to 12 and the minimum to 12 to eliminate the 6 millimeter holes. For the tool, I will select the 12 millimeter tool, check the feeds and speeds, and load them from the tool. Clearance plane will remain the same. For the cut parameters, I'd like to be 22 with no added tool tip. And the sorting, leave that as a zigzag and generate the path. Now let's say that sometime later an engineering change comes through that dictates that the six millimeter hole be deeper. You can expand that operation, go directly to the parameters, 
set that depth to what is required. And because of the ratio of the depth to the diameter of the tool, I'm going to change this to deep drilling and generate the path. Well, there you have the basics for creating three axis drilling operations. Finally, let's post process these operations for a Haas machine with metric output. I'll select the machining job at the top of the tree so that all operations are post processed. Select right mouse button, post all, and this is the name then of the output posted file. I'll accept that, and here's the listing of the post processed operations. There you have it. That concludes the demonstration on three axis drilling. Thank you.